Eve new at five setting sail for the first time in 15 months. The Grand Classica is back at the Port of Palm Beach. As WPTV News Channel 5's Sabir Rayford shows you, despite all the uncertainty, the Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line is gearing up to welcome back passengers. Well, it's quiet here right now at the Port of Palm Beach, but here on June 25th, passengers will be checking in to set sail to the Bahamas. The Grand Classica is back. And after getting the green light from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line is now preparing for simulated sailing. So we are having a test cruise on June 25th with a select group of passengers. Uh, as per CDC guidelines. The two night round trip cruise will take around 50 passengers on the test trip to Grand Bahama. The CEO O'Neill Cosa says passengers will be required to have a Bahamas travel visa, which requires the person to be fully vaccinated or present a negative COVID-19 test no more than five days before the trip. He says they have partnered with the Florida Department of Health in Palm Beach County to vaccinate all crew members. So they're getting Johnson and Johnson one shot and we are following the CDC guidelines of quarantining them on board for two weeks after the vaccination. Costa says after the test cruise, they will welcome back around 500 passengers to cruise the Bahamas. The ship can hold up to 1,500. He says sanitation standards have increased. Masks will be required for unvaccinated guests, and there will be social distancing at dining and entertainment areas. Right now, we are probably one of the first uh, cruise lines to also get the approval for the test cruise. The CEO of Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line says they hope to resume their full schedule starting on July 2nd. For now, reporting in Palm Beach County, Sabir Rayford, WPTV News Channel 5.